Okay, folks, welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. So there's a few things we want to address really quickly before we get to the footage for this presentation. Uh, the first thing is a couple weeks ago, uh, I captured an orb of some sort and recorded it for roughly two and a half minutes and um, did a presentation about it. And what I showed you guys with that is the bulk of the two and a half minutes and the way the object exited which uh, was it going straight up out of nowhere. And it wasn't like at rocket speed, but it was certainly like straight up in the air after hovering in front of me uh, for that time period. Anyway, what I didn't share with you is how I initially captured it. And the reason I didn't share it is because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I was still processing it and it was a bit unsettling to me. And so what happened is that it basically uh, I saw it coming up, and so I grabbed the camera and um, started recording it. And it seemed as if once I started recording it, it realized it, and then it stopped, changed directions, and then swooped back in and got closer to me and came back right in the middle of my screen. Um, and like I'm saying right now, it was, I, I had mixed emotions. It was a little scary, to be honest with you. It was strange. Certainly not my balloon behavior, that's for sure. Um, but in any event, I opted not to share that part of it because I just didn't know how I felt about it. I needed some time, I guess, I don't know. Well, I've taken the time, and so now I'm gonna share that with you. So the first thing you're gonna see here is um, how, or I should say the beginning of that capture. And you're gonna see something pretty dynamic because it's on a clear trajectory and then it changes it and gets close swoops in and gets close to me and then just hangs out for two and a half minutes and then decides to leave so i'm going to share that with you now uh, and then following that there's a few other captures that are all prior captures and i'm just going over them really quickly to show you guys that um or to make the point that when you experience these things and capture these things on camera enough you start to uh get more and more open. So then when you see something new, you don't just automatically or knee jerk write it off as something like prosaic and just come up with something or, you know, it's a natural phenomenon because of this, or it must be, you know, explainable in this way or that way. You're more open to it being unexplainable because you have this history, this foundational building blocks uh, that have accrued of anomalous uh, interactions and captures. So I want to go over some of those really quickly before I show you uh, something that I observed uh, over the last week. And um, yeah, that's it. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you the beginning of the NHI uh, footage and then we're gonna follow that with a few uh, reminder captures just to show you the oddities that we're seeing and observing in our skies. And then we're gonna move on to uh, the, the main part of this presentation. So that's it, enjoy. Like I say, comment, and please feel free to share with the people you think might enjoy it, and we'll see you on the other side. Thanks. Okay, so this is what the NHI capture looked like when I first presented it uh, in that uh, video. It just kind of comes in from the left and hangs out, and you know, that's it. And then this is how it leaves. Uh, straight up and that's real distance and real speed right there uh, and again it just comes in from the left that's kind of what I showed you um, what you're gonna see though is what preceded this footage uh, and right before it comes in on the left uh, and this is what I basically withheld because you know like I said I wasn't sure about it so here it is So like I described, it was on a particular trajectory going bottom left to right, and then it seemed to become aware of me and then change trajectory and get close. That's that. So now we're moving on to these sort of foundational building blocks for the anomalous captures that we get and why it is that we're able to uh, uh, see these things with such an open mind. Because once you see enough of these, um, you know, you you realize that you don't know anything. And then once you swallow that pill and re realize how ignorant you are, then uh, everything seems to open up because uh, the 
possibilities are virtually endless. And like with this thing, you know, what is this white orb coming out of nowhere and trying to intersect this black orb that was coming out of nowhere? I mean, th if this stuff doesn't open your mind up to what we don't know, then I don't know what would. And here's another thing. It's just straight up and at a remarkable speed. So, yeah, uh, these are the building blocks for why we see things now and have an open mind for them. Uh, and here we go. So, yeah. <laughs>you know, it's funny because so many people look at these captures and say, oh, that's just some insect right in front of your camera. You're an idiot. Well, okay, maybe. I don't know. But the question then becomes, what is it when the camera is in outer space like this? Then what do you say? Is this an insect that's in outer space? I mean, you, 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 that doesn't work anymore. When you get footage like this, and it looks like a scene out of Elysium, you got to explain it. And here's the telemetry. I mean, you know, this uh, this was way up there. This is like 60-something miles maybe in outer space. And going over 16,000 miles an hour, uh, you know, the and then this thing gets captured, and this thing isn't space junk. This isn't coming from this SpaceX uh, craft. This is coming from Earth. This is fighting gravity and coming up and going past the craft. So again, I want to point out, we watched those initial uh, captures that we'd seen before as a reminder that those are building blocks. When you see enough of those anomalous things in the sky, you see something like this and you do not write it off automatically. You turn around and say, well, where's the propulsion system? And how is it fighting gravity? And how fast is it going? I mean, there's no sign of propulsion there at all, but it looks just like the things that we capture uh, on a lower level, altitude-wise. Okay, so this is something else I've shown you guys before, and I call them pencils or javelins. And what I always say is that a few things actually they're remarkably fast uh, I don't know the proximity to the camera versus the craft and they have no sign uh, obvious sign of propulsion or stabilization or steering mechanisms uh, and but we continually record these things zipping through the sky so now look so we go back up to the footage of the SpaceX starship and then look what you find it's a pencil or a javelin, but in outer space. So yeah, look at the bottom right here. I mean, this is slowed and zoomed in, but we'll zoom out so we get the full scope of the uh, Starship camera system, uh, which was Starlink, I think. But, I mean, this is occurring in outer space, without question. And here's the, look at this real speed. I mean, it's crazy fast. Okay, so look, I don't have answers. I say that all the time. But what I will tell you is that if that is a creature, then by definition, it is extraterrestrial life. If it's not a creature and it's technology, then it's evidence of non-human intelligence because something moving at that speed is clearly not ours. And so, yeah, listen, the link to this video is in the description, but... This timer on the left here is essentially telling you where to look for this footage, so go watch it. So, you know, I mean, in my mind, between these things shooting through the thermosphere and then we've got these other things here shooting upward, fighting against Earth's gravitational pull, we've got to ask ourselves some real questions here. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Um, 
You know, I didn't watch a lot of this footage before seeing these things. In fact, that was the first thing I watched, really. I found something that had a pretty good camera and um, it was long enough that I thought, you know, there might be something to this and let's just go by it, uh, go through it rather frame by frame and see what we find. And, and that's what I found. And I didn't even go through all of it, to be honest with you. Um, and that was one uh, Starship re-entry from SpaceX, and it was five months ago. And, you know, I, it kind of makes you wonder, like, it makes, makes me wonder, like, hey, Elon, like, what are you paying your people in Hawthorne to do? Like, don't you want to watch the footage? I mean, I understand there's, you know, there's a lot going on with these things, but to get eyes in the sky like that, how can you not go over it with a fine tooth comb? Because if you do, you start to see things that aren't readily explainable. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, you know, p part of me is like, this stuff is just happening at every layer um, of space, down here, up there, in the in-between. I mean, it's just, and it makes sense because it seems like they're traversing the space. So you would see them at every level, whatever they are. Um, and you know and another part of me is like excited to like go through more of these uh recordings and see what i find i'm just curious to know why these aren't like being talked about by a lot of people and maybe they are and i just don't see them like i mean that's that could be too um but anyway uh thank you very much for your time uh like i say please comment let's talk about these things uh, and see what we can figure out Share them with other people uh, you might think would enjoy these presentations. And uh, we'll see you next time around. Thanks.